I must say, I must say, I like to give credit where credit is due. What's up, YouTube family? Gerald Greenley here with <clears throat> Clean and Green Septic Service. You heard that right. Septic. Like septic tank. Yeah. Nah, I'm just kidding. This is what I got going on. So I told y'all I went and about to build an apartment, seeing what all I had to get. Well, the tax czar told me that uh, you got to call the health department because I. So here's the deal: the property I got it already has a power pole, uh, already has a septic tank. I have water off my neighbor, which I'm sure I can get a permit like that. He may have to write a letter giving permission or something like that. Uh, this used to he used to have another house on this property, a mobile home. So. They said, well, I said, I already got a septic tank. You know, it was for a two-bathroom ba home, two-bathroom, three-bedroom. I'm going to put in a two-bedroom, two-bathroom. So I should be good to go. And they said, well, you got to go by the health department, and they got to come inspect it, and they got to let you know. So I called a guy from the health department, and he said, yeah, you got to come by and fill out an application. Give us $30. We'll come out. We'll inspect it. Now, listen, I understand codes and regulations. I'm not even complaining about this. Uh, $30 for a guy to come out here and check it really isn't that expensive, to be honest. Uh, from a business standpoint, I'm not going to hardly, you know, do anything for $30. So, I mean, what can you do for $30, right? So, with that said, I found my pipe here. All right. And I traced it down till I found the end of it. And I got the cover here. So, I'm hoping there's lids under there. I could bring the tractor over here and dig this up, but man, because I'm hoping this thing is going to be fine, I really don't want to take the risk of breaking the lid. So, I got, I got my manual excavator, and I got a couple more shovels in the truck too. So, I'm just going to set y'all up, man. You can enjoy some time lapse of me doing some slave labor here trying to save some money I guess here we go have a divider in them where it spills over here's the other sides i think it's uh i'm not a septic tank expert i think it's more solid and then liquid uh, of course the solids are supposed to dissolve but um i'm not going to give you the nomenclature of what the solids are in case you're waiting that's a joke y'all lighten up uh, military term no nomenclature um so anyway, they have these, uh, most all of them have these little hooks on them, which is good because I can hook the tractor and the chain to it and lift it out of there, but that, that feels kind of loose. And the thing I had to worry about them all the time is rusting. I had to uh, take the covers off my septic tank when I lived in Florida to get it pumped out. Uh, you know, again, I was trying to save some money back in the day and, uh, the guy told me, he's like, well, you know, I'm just throwing out numbers. It's 300 if we come out and uncover it and pump it out. It's 180 for the pump out if you do every, you know, all the leg work. So I got out there and dug it up. And I had a time getting those covers off. Now, here's a little trick. I don't know if it's uh, what the guy doing the safety tank told me. He said, when you got that out, lay a big, thick, good, like, leaf uh, lawn bag. Don't let it go down in there. Just lay it across it and set that top back on it. And what happens is it doesn't seal off as well. It's easier to get back up the next time, I guess. So those are actually designed to run a breaker bar through them. And you can do like that and lift them. But there again, that one, that one looks a little bit shady. 
of course it sits on top it sits up a little bit it won't be that hard we'll figure out how to get it out that one there is down in there recessed but hopefully it'll pop out so i don't know we'll just have to see i don't know if i have to have them off or just where they can access them i'm about to go up there and see about getting uh, doing the application and paying the 30 dollars and all that kind of good stuff um so but i'm not gonna pull those off and leave them off now if he tells me when he's coming if i need to take them off if i'm not gonna be here i'll i'll bring tractor over here and take them off and uh you know set them to the side and put some markers or something up you know i just don't want somebody to get in it uh now nobody should be down here but you know how that goes i mean a kid could wander from one of these houses over here you know i mean you just i don't know so anyway uh i guess i'm gonna ride up to the health department and give them some money be the first money i spent on the new the new build i guess so uh did call an electrician a while ago i got a buddy of mine I, like i said was an electrician i've already called since since the last video i've called electrician and uh i have called the uh, uh heating and ac guy and so both of those guys are getting me quotes on what it's going to be so hopefully my goal is by the end of uh and about let me turn that off i'll be copyrighted so my goal is this is to uh in the next couple of weeks have a a pretty solid number on what i'm looking at so i can see how i'm gonna go about financing it i guess or or, or getting up the money or whatever so that's the deal man check back with y'all i must say i must say i like to give credit where credit is due that is one of the nicest people I have ever dealt with at the health department. Not just at the health department, but in any kind of public servant um, capacity. So, uh, now, I'm not saying that all of my experiences are bad with public service. Uh, I am saying that I have had my share of bad experiences with public service uh but i don't ever lump everybody into one category you just don't do that you know but that lady was fantastic very customer service oriented uh, a lot of times when you go into a place like that you don't really know what all you need and you're trying to get answers and some people don't understand that you don't you don't do building permits every day you don't do septic tank permits every day you don't do you know water inspections and all this stuff every day and they're like why don't you know this you know and i have been treated like i was a real dummy before now i am pretty dumb but you don't have to treat me that way <laughs> uh, that was painless i paid him thirty dollars and uh, I didn't even have to fill out a piece of paper. She typed it all in. Give me your name. Give me your address. Give me the fo contact phone number. She said, check back with us Monday. Your letter should be ready. I'm like, wow, it's Thursday here. Um, so, yeah, that, that's, uh, that was pretty good. So, uh, on a complete other note, I have, uh, I don't know what this person is doing. I have two properties uh, to go do a quote on. So, that's good. I need them. <laughs> uh, one of them is a neighbor to a customer on the four acre we cut with the pond. Uh, you may remember way back, I put the Super Z in the edge of the pond. So it's this person's neighbor. Uh, they were looking for some lawn service and the lady that uh, we've been servicing, uh, she said, hey, I would highly recommend these folks. And so there you have it, you know what happens word of mouth word of mouth google and word of mouth have been the greatest resources for me i'm telling you if you don't have a google business page get one get one get you do good work and get your customers to do reviews uh i've had several properties that i've gotten because they said hey we we pulled up lawn care because i always ask people how'd you get my name my number right because i'm curious i want to know and they said, well, we typed in lawn care, and I've had 
uh, probably at least three customers almost quote this. We look for lawn care. Yours was the first one with five star reviews. Like all five stars. Now, somebody will mess that up one day. They'll get aggravated and give me a review that, you know, will hurt that. But for now, we enjoy it, right? So I'm going to look at that. And then one's an existing customer and needs some stuff cleaned up. Now, this, this, this customer here is, is not necessarily the ideal customer because she just wants a cleanup. She said, we maintain our property throughout the year, but we just don't have the time to do a good cleanup. And I'm gonna guess her you know, yard is probably gonna fall in the neighborhood of three to four acres. That's kind of what the properties around there are. So, we're gonna go look at it. We're gonna give her a price, uh, you know, one-time deals, cut no slack, I mean, you want it done great and that's what I told her I said well I don't mind coming to give you a, a free no obligation price and you can decide whether you want me to do it find somebody else to do it or all of a sudden you might have the time to do it yourself and the other one's cleaning up an area at one of our existing customers very very good lady and uh, she had wanted it done or well, she had asked me about it during lawn season and I just told her I said there's no way that we can do that uh, because it's going to take probably a, a two guys, uh, probably be there day and a half or something. So, uh, I got to go meet with her and see exactly what she wants done and give her a price. So, hey, trying to make a dollar, man. Check back with y'all. All right, we got, uh, well, we don't have the two estimates done for my regular lawn customer. She's got a big place that's got ivy and plants and probably six inches of leaves. This place has been a wilderness for, I don't know, 10 years maybe. I don't know. I don't know the answer to that, but it's bad. It's probably not, but, you know, 1,200 square feet, 1,500 square feet, something like that. But we're going to have to bring the tractor and uh, I'm gonna take the tractor and the bucket and try to just get it. I told her I'd try to get it back down to the dirt for. And uh, got a bunch of plants to move out of there, pots, a couple of trees to take down, small trees, uh, a bunch of little trees. Um, so, anyway, I gave her a price. Extremely happy uh, with the price. So happy with it, I wish I'd have added 500. <laughs> I always get nervous, man. You give somebody a price and they go, okay, yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> like, you almost want to give them a price where they got to think about it and then say okay. But, no, seriously, she, she's, a, she's an older lady, uh, real nice lady, real good line customer, very appreciative. Man, she sends me cards at Christmas and uh, just... When she mails me my check, she'll have thank you card in there. She pays in advance. Uh, she'll have a thank you card in there for keeping my yard, you know, up so well. Uh, and this is not a nice yard. This is no knock against her. It's just there's a lot of stuff there. Got a lot of trees. So when I say not a nice yard, grass doesn't really grow. Uh, we do it every two weeks just because we have to keep our schedule set up. But honestly... I mean, really, 80% of her yard could be cut every month, you know, probably. I mean, but you wouldn't want the other to get out of hand. So, anyway, she was good with it. So, um, you know, that's always good. Uh, the other lady I met, real nice lady. I got to go and uh, work her up an estimate. Like I said, hers is primarily a one-time thing. Actually, I'm not going to stop there. I'm going to go to the other place. So, uh, but I got a feeling just talking to her, it, it might actually turn into more than what she's letting on. So, we'll see. We'll see. Um, so, in the last couple, you know, business is out there. I followed up with two existing customers in the last two days 
Uh, these are people we service their lawn, and I followed up with them about projects that they had mentioned they wanted, like this one, or projects that I knew they would need at some point. And, uh, you know, both of them have said, yeah, let's do it. And, uh, you know, so it's a pretty big, uh, well, let's see probably about $4,500 worth of work just by making a couple of, actually one one was a, this was a phone call, the other one was a text message and they said, yeah, sounds good let's do it, $4,500 now I got some mulch included in that that's that's, that's not profit uh, but still not bad not bad, so Anyway, um, I'm going to get to put the farm track to use on this job. I'm going to try to take it over there and use it with the bucket and get as much of that stuff out of there as I can. All right, good news, good news, good news. I think, I hope. I just got a call from the guy that goes out to inspect the septic tank. Um, they don't even pull the lids off. All they're doing is looking, I think what they're doing is looking to make sure it's a, a casted septic tank in other words people used to have these old uh septic tanks that well they they called them a cesspool too i don't know but they had like these solid lids on them and basically people would pour them in place i guess sometimes i've seen them like that the one we had took up at the church was like that but mine has lids on it so i'm i'm thinking that I'm okay. Uh, so, we'll see. We'll see what the guy says. He's supposed to come out first thing in the morning and take a look. And I guess once he, if he okays it, they will give me a letter. And then I can add that letter to my building permit package. Uh, so, there's a lot of other stuff that goes on with that. You got to get... Uh, I think you have to get, I mean, you you know, obviously have to do a drawing, a somewhat detailed drawing, I guess. Um, but you also have to get a quote from a contractor, from what I understand. I hadn't read the packet. Uh, at a minimum of $55 a square foot. Well, no contractor is going to build anything for $55 a square foot, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, I'm hoping that I can build it for maybe $60 a square foot or something like that. I don't know. We'll just have to see. Um, so, anyway, at least we got the ball rolling. We got, every, we got everything in progress except for the money, man. <laughs> uh, it'll all work out. They don't worry about it. But uh, we'll just have to see. Just have to see, man. If I hadn't bought all this equipment, I'd have about half of it. <laughs> uh, oh well, life goes on. The equipment will make me way more money than what I paid for it. That is the good news. That's the good news. Lord willing, uh, if I keep quoting jobs like I've been doing yesterday and today, I'll have to work all the time. So anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and shut out the video here. Probably long enough by now. Hope you enjoyed it. My prayer for you is always the same. That the Lord might richly bless you. And that you might sell of your blessings as from Him. Have a great day.